this tutorial, we will see how to texturize an animation using always the old method for the people using TV Paint Standard Edition. So here we have our little guy colorized. So we have a layer with the colors and a layer with the lines. So first of all, before talking about texturizing, we will talk about the papers. The papers can be enabled just here on, on hitting this little icon and we can open the different papers by clicking by making a right click on the icon or you can also go into windows drawing papers to open the paper panel when you are painting or drawing uh, with uh, real uh, material so you choose the papers following uh, for example for watercolor the paper is not the same than for chalks or for pencils or for uh, old painting so it's more of the same here. You can choose the paper for the kind of rendering you wish. So it look it works a little bit like a like a mask, like a stencil. You choose the paper and you paint to display the paper. Uh, you have a lot of options available here, so to explain this function I will use the most useful paper in the world, which is the TV paint paper. And a fill rectangle, okay. So here is the paper by default. Can, for example, lower the hardness. I can lower the size, and so the pattern will be repeated. Or I can increase the size and then the pattern will be uh, very big. I can change the angle. I can flip the X ax or the Y ax or both. And I can also invert the papers and having new bunch of renderings. You can also create your own papers to do so. Actually, it's really simple because uh, you can create a paper from TV Pen, for example, or from something you've imported in your TV Paint. So it can be a photograph, it can be uh, something, an image you've scanned or anything. So for example, let's draw something. Can we really talk and uh, speak about drawing here? I'm not sure. And then we can make a right click and we will create a new paper. My paper. And here's my paper. So I will hit, I will delete what I've drawn. I click on my paper, I will lower the sorry, the size, and I will lower the hardness, and let's use a fill rectangle, and here we are, I have my paper. So now we know about the papers, let's talk about the mask, the stencils in TV Paint. Let's go back to our guy. A mask is a layer whose we locked the pixels. I mean, when you turn a layer into a stencil or into a mask, you lock the pixels area for other layers. For drawing an example, let's uh, draw a square. I'll create a new anim layer and I will turn this rectangle into a mask by hitting this button. Then I can take another drawing shape and let's draw an eye can't draw outside the box. You can also invert the stencil mode and so here is the contrary, you will only draw outside the box and not inside. And if you click a third time then you can draw everywhere, no limits. By the way, stencils are still active when you disable the layer. So if I disable the layer, but I enable the stencil mode, I won't be able to draw outside the box. 
By the way, when a layer has been turned into a mask, you can draw inside this layer. There is even a little one pop-up that explains you what you've done wrong. So why am I talking about the mask? It's because I would like uh, in, the, in the future to apply my texture only on the guy. Because at the moment, I can eventually apply a paper on another layer like this. So I can eventually apply uh, a texture, something more interesting, like this. I can even, for example, and I can then play with the different layer blending modes, like erase them. And here, my guy. And don't forget to use the pause behavior hold, yes. And here, my guy will be textured like this. But uh, that's quite problematic, because uh, when I'm using the erase mode, it means I erase the pixels from this layer and all layers below. So if I have a background, I will also erase a little bit the background. That's not very interesting in this case. So that's why I'm talking about the stencils and about the mask. Because when, for example, you want to apply the texture on this color area, you will turn the color area into a mask and you will stamp the layer with texture on the layer with the flat colors. Let's show you. Okay, so here I have my original texture. Don't forget to use the pause behavior hold. And let's turn this layer into a mask like this. And now I can take this and put it on this layer. And then I have this function that appears. So uh, we have a possibility to replay with the blending modes here. The stem function, it's a little specific to explain. I will show you an, an example to be, uh, to be clear. And you can also erase source, so the source will disappear if you check this box and then apply the merge layer. But personally, I don't like to, to check erase the source just in case I've changed my mind. So let's apply. Let's disappear there. And then now the texture has been applied on the character. But here the problem is that the texture is always still and you feel that the character is moving inside the texture. This rendering can be wished, but in that case I would like to have the feeling that the texture is quite random, you know? So let's disable the, the stencil and let's create Let's add, like, um, I will draw again with my peppers and we'll just change the angle like this. I'll just change, I just change the size, not the angle. That's not a big deal. And like this, okay. So I have something like this. I can use here the loop mode, and now I can turn again this layer into a stencil, take and merge and stamp the layer like this, apply, I hide the original texture and let's enjoy. And here we can see the texture is moving randomly. Actually, it's not randomly, it's just a loop made from the original application I've done here. And then, of course, you can play again with opacity levels. Or if, for example, you don't like uh, the results, you can eventually change the color again. To do so, let's preserve the alpha channel, like this. Let's take a color. Let's hit color Oop, without the texture, that's better, like this. And let's double click and hit enter to apply, change the whole color. So 
so you notice the difference between preserving the alpha channel and turning a layer into a mask. When you preserve the alpha channel, you will change the alpha channel to different levels of opacity on the existing pixels. And you will do this change on the current layer. You won't affect the other layers. And when you enable the stencil mode, the mask mode, you affect not the current layer, but the other layers. That's important to make the difference between both. And so, last but not least, I was talking about the stamp mode. So to explain the stamp mode, I will use a file. That works well here. So here we have a paper applied, like this. And here we are, we have two colored square, one with um, opacity at 100% and one with 60% of opacity. So if I take now this paper and use the merge mode like this, if I hit stamp, it will stamp using the color I was currently using. And if I don't use the stamp mode, it will just merge the layers, like this. 